It seems as if there has been a stagnation in the development of super shoes this year. New releases haven't always lived up to the hype and people tend to be wearing previously released shoes over the new shoes on the market. So I'm somewhat reluctant to make this list of exciting unreleased shoes because if they're following the same theme as of late, then it'll be somewhat of an anticlimax. And comment which shoe you're most excited for, and also stay tuned for the end because we've got a bonus shoe that we haven't seen anyone else release information on yet. Firstly, the Nike Invincible 3. It seems like the Invincible 2 has only just released, but the third edition is already being leaked online, as well as official Nike product images being shared. The design has changed somewhat, which can be worrying, but we have spoken to people who have tested the shoe early, and they've all said it is an amazing shoe. For anyone who isn't familiar with the Invincible, the high stack and zoom X super foam makes it the ultimate easy run shoe that leaves the legs feeling unbelievably fresh. The look suggests more stability due to what seems like more width. There also seems like there's more stack height. The upper almost looks similar to the Pegasus Turbo Nature Next Percent. I can't decide if the shoe looks extremely ugly or extremely nice. Next is a shoe we have already covered on this channel, but that is the Nike Vaporfly Next Percent 3. Another significant design change from the previous model, the Nike Next Percent 3 will either be taking a step in the right direction, or maybe people would still favour the earlier renditions. Nike have clearly wanted to make a big change in comparison to the difference between the first and second editions of this shoe, and from early reports, the shoe is better, ever so slightly lighter, and has a higher stack height. On paper, this is exciting. We did a more in-depth video on this specific shoe, which is linked below, but in short, significant changes are in the midsole with a completely different shape and cutouts. The outsole now has a cutout in the middle which exposes the carbon plate and the upper seems more akin to flying it. Next is the ASICS Super Blast. I don't know whether to be excited or to hold my excitement in anticipation of disappointment. The recent high stack training shoes have been weighty and ultimately a flop. My only thought is what is this shoe competing with? Will it be similar to the much loved Pegasus Turbo or will it be closer to what the Nike Invincible is? And as it turns out, early reviews have given us the answer. Believe in the Run gave their first impressions that were a little deflated. For $220, you expect a shoe to do a lot of good things. However, their assessment was that it's very versatile but rather than being amazing at one specific thing it's just good at a bit of everything so this means it gets thrown into the mix with the Saucony Endorphin Speed and the Hoka Mac 5 in terms of shoes that can do it all. The only issue is the Socky Endorphin Speed will obviously be faster and the Hoka Mac 5 is considerably cheaper. I'll still be getting this shoe to review so stay tuned for that. Next are two mystery shoes. Firstly it's the Saucony Endorphin Elite. Saucony make the most comfortable super shoes. The Elite is clearly a very interesting looking shoe with wider carbon rods and an unusual shape. We have heard from someone who's tried this shoe that it's better than the Vaporfly. This could be recency biased but nonetheless if Saucony are making an improved version of the Pro 3 which is already a great shoe then that's going to be exciting. And finally, on Cloud Boom Echo 3 on steroids, essentially. So we can currently buy the on Cloud Boom Echo 1. I'm not sure about the two, but the third edition is what's on the feet of the pros. And now in an Ironman race, it looks like there was a beefier third edition. A couple of years ago, I would never have imagined I'd be excited about an on shoe. Their super spikes have been the real deal. They feel absolutely amazing on foot. This design expertise from on looks to have transferred to the super road shoes. Athletes have been wearing the unreleased on cloud boom echo 3 but there looks to be a higher stack version. So we don't know if they're still experimenting with prototypes or if there is two unreleased shoes from on. Regardless the improvements they've made in the last 12 months have been astronomical and the new on releases always excite me. And finally remember to comment which shoe you're most excited about or if there's any other shoes we've missed off this list.